Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you want to know how I created this DIY, then please stay tuned. This is another DIY using feathers in a series of DIYs using feathers, but this one is really, really, really special to me because this is an inspiration that I have from Angela Jean, who has a YouTube channel, YouTuber, with um, her channel is called Runway Done My Way, and she's a host, a designer, a model, and a vlogger. Her website is runwaydoneyway.com. She's also an entrepreneur and did denim. Um, Donemyway.com is her um, her clothing, kids crafts, and it's awesome. So I'm gonna leave all that information in the description bar below. And also it, for the products that we use, but I really like Angela Jean from Runway Done My Way. She was the first person I subscribed to. And when I started my own channel and I just started, you know, filming content, she was able to give me great advice. So I just definitely want to give a shout out to her. But what you're going to need are some clutch bags. I went to my closet, found clutch bags I don't use, but you can purchase some. You're going to need an applique. I use this one, but you can get any applique that you want. Um, I just like this one because it, it's basically the one that she used in her DIY. You're also going to need some large ostrich feathers. If you can, try to find the biggest ones you can. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I didn't see them in any other craft stores. You don't need these pins, so you can definitely skip that. But you'll also need a glue gun, of course, and hot glue sticks, and um, any color ostrich feathers you like, and of course, a pair of scissors to cut the ostrich feathers with. And that's basically what you'll need. Now for this bag, I really liked it because it was pink. It's the only pink bag I had. It's a little pink clutch that I had for, oh my god, forever. But I was trying to use it. It would be perfect with the backdrop with the pink feathers. But the applique was a little bit longer. I really didn't want to cut it because you guys know, if you start cutting on those appliques, they can start unraveling and it'll be a hot mess. So I really didn't want to do that. And it is like sort of flapping over the top and a little too long on the ends. When I actually took the applique and was trying to figure out how I can basically reconcile that, I really couldn't do it. So I was going to move it down because I really like this bag. I like the wristlet. But when I place it, let me show you. See that on top, that space on each side? Really, it's not really a couldn't figure out a way to get that to look nice and uniform but I do like the bag I like the gold hardware I like the zipper it even has another zipper in the back and um, where you could put a cell phone so it's like convenient but I have to say even though I didn't want to use the dark colored clutch even though it's cute um, the applique does lay flat on it and that's basically what I needed it's all relative, you can do what you want, but this one also has a really cute clutch, the um, <laughs> the purse handle where you close it, the snap, it's really cute, it has a little bit of bling on it, it's a little bow, so yeah, it's just a little bit extra. Now here you can not do this, I'm just doing this because I didn't have my white um, pencil to mark because the way the applique is, I just wanted to know exactly where I would be lining up my feathers, but please skip that, as you can see I already pinned it off, you know, off camera. So basically, um, where I'm going to show you is where the applique will sit. And I wanted to just make sure that my feathers would be coming up to where I wanted to meet, you know, the applique. That's basically it. So now here is the good part. You're going to just cut them. That's it. Don't cut them in the middle though. You want to, you basically want to cut them and get the length as, as much length as you can because once again the key thing is getting the largest feathers that you can find once again these are ostrich feathers they come in all different colors and you can usually get them in any craft store but you can also order them online on amazon try to look for ones that are very large or extra large i'll definitely leave the link in the description bar for the applique and the feathers now i did notice that angela jean did not put the actual feathers on the top or the bottom she actually started about a third of the way up on the purse, so just bear that in mind when you start applying it. The only other thing I would say is to make sure that you only cut a little bit at a time. Very key. They're very wispy. They'll fly around. If you breathe hard, you're, they're going to be flying around. 
And when you apply the glue, see how I'm only putting a little bit at a time? You do just want to apply a little bit of glue, cut a little bit, apply it, and just keep that process going because if you use too many, they'll get stucky and sticky and glue, gluey and all of that, and it'll make a mess. And you'll basically, you know, have to try to separate them, and they're almost impossible to separate. The other thing I would definitely mention, <laughs> and please learn from my mistakes, is um, the glue is really hot when you're trying to do it. So just be careful, guys, because <laughs> by the time I finish this DIY, I will tell you, I could have went into the witness protection because I didn't have any fingerprints. And if somebody tried to figure out who I was in witness protection, they would have had no clue. Because by the time I finished this, my fingerprints were burnt off. They were melted. They were thing of the past. I, I don't even know what to tell you. But anyway, so yes, definitely, definitely safety first, safety first. So as you can see, I'm just applying the feathers onto the glue just a little bit at a time but you can see it's already coming together and you basically get the general idea the general gist of it So I'm just going to keep that going all the way across. The other thing, I, the only other thing I would say was just try to keep it in a straight line. Mine's got a little crooked. So maybe that'll be helpful to you guys if you want to try. And I'm sure you guys are going to try this because this is a really fun DIY. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to try to just try to eye it and keep it, you know, sort of in the straight line. So that way the bottom of the purse is more or less even with the feathers. That's basically it. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty fun. Um, my glue gum was on the fritz. It usually goes a little quicker than this. So in the meantime, while my glue gun is acting up, I was just basically letting them dry down and just waving the bag around the glue to, you know, the, to dry the glue. But anyway, as you can see, I'm gonna remove those pins and the glue, you know. But I just wanted to show you guys what the roll looks like. And um, I'm just gonna finish this off and come right back. But you can see I'm trying to keep it even, and of course it's not, but I tried, I tried. <laughs> so I finished the first row, um, gonna, like I said, remove the pins and that, that wispy glue there, but you can basically see or get the idea. And then I'm just gonna start the next row, and it's that simple. You just wanna start the next row about a quarter inch up, or maybe an inch at the most, but I say about a quarter inch too you know, maybe three-fourths of an inch or something like that, and just a little bit at a time, a little dab of do you. And it's that simple, guys. Now, once I start applying this second row, do you see how this is starting to look? Pretty, so pretty. Now, I did run into a little problem, and I'm going to show you that in a second because some of my ostrich feathers didn't look the way they looked when I bought them. I don't know what happened. They were in a pack for about two weeks and when I pulled them out, they were looking a hot mess. So as you can see, I did have to incorporate another color pink, but actually I like the blend of the light pink and the dark pink together. But do you see this? Do you see this ostrich feather? I don't know what happened to it. It's very sparse on the top. It's looking a hot mess. So that's why you see light pink, dark pink, but it's, well, it's not dark, they're both really pretty and light, but it's a mixture, but I actually like the gradients of it. I do like that actually. I just wish that the, the actual plumes were a little longer to give it that more of a wispy effect. But you can see the top, I didn't do the back. I'm probably gonna go back and do that later, but for now I need more feathers. So all you wanna do is just take the applique and you wanna cover up the area where there are no feathers that were, were applied and that's basically it so give me a second I'm gonna play with this and try to line it up and get it to look pretty you know even on both sides 
and so just bear with me while I do that and then once I get that done I'm gonna go ahead and glue it but as you can see I'm also trying to make sure with any loose feathers that I'm sort of pulling them off and getting them now so my bag is not shedding later so that's all I'm gonna be basically doing um I guess that's about it so let me get glue into gluing this on now I'm basically gonna do um, the sides so to make sure that um, on this side that I'm lining it lining it up evenly and if you have any questions please feel free to comment below I appreciate when people comment because then I'll know I'm giving you guys content that you like and also I've gotten emails so I really appreciate anyone that takes the time to comment or anyone that takes the time to reach out to me even ask a question or if you're curious I know someone asked why I'm not on camera I'm really shy I guess I just have to work up my nerve but I'll probably get there eventually <laughs> but for now I'm really happy behind the camera so I hope you guys bear with me in the meantime I'm just trying to make sure that when I fix the applique that um, to the metal that um, it's going to stay and so I'm just like I said just making sure that I'm lining everything up and um, when you're applying hot glue to metal of any kind it does give a little it takes a little longer to dry it gets really hot so it does give you a little bit of leadway to move around what you're using and so basically that's what I'm doing with the applique to make sure that it lines up and it covers up the area where the feathers have not been applied but I have to say guys this was such a fun project um, like I said just an awesome um, idea so you really definitely need to go check out her um, her page and I'm sure you guys once you get there you're gonna subscribe she's pretty awesome and um, yeah <laughs> And for other people that have reached out to me, I'm definitely going to be shouting them out in upcoming videos also, but I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more DIYs. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm done with the feather series. I think I might do maybe one or two more because I'm really enjoying it. Maybe, who knows, it'll be a continuing situation. But I'm just really into feathers and every crafters know when you get going with something, you usually do it into the wheels they basically fall off so yeah so I'm um, um, basically we're done we just have to dry it um make sure it's dry the feathers are a little wonky so I'm gonna fluff the feathers and clean up the little glue and I'll be right back okay be right back so it's all done as you can see I cleaned her up I fluffed up the feathers and look at that so pretty so you can see once you actually fluff the feathers it looks a lot fuller and a lot wispier and I love it. So I really had a great time making this bag. I hope you guys try this purse and um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications if you would like to see more DIYs like this. Please don't forget to check the description bar for all the information below and also Angela Jean's channel Runway Done My Way. And I would love to have you back to be a part of my family. Have a great day and th thanks again for watching guys. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea.